Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brayton and I am a part-time reseller. Um, I'm not going to go through the list again. I feel like you guys all know where I sell at this point. Um, today we have a Thread Up DIY 5 pound jewelry box. This one is coming from Swanee, Georgia. Y'all, I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared just because my last one was not the greatest. It was, it was okay-ish. But not great. That is that is for sure. Um, hoping I can at least make my money back on that one. Um, but this one, we're gonna have high hopes. We're gonna say we're gonna get some name brands. We're gonna get some silver. We're gonna get some gold. We're gonna we're gonna get something good in here. I just know it. <laughs> at least I hope so. Um, this box is probably going to be from a while ago. Let's see. This one's from April. I have not been able to get one in a while, but. They are getting increasingly hard to get. <laughs> so whenever you can see them up, you better grab them as fast as you can because um, they're just selling out so fast. I'm talking two, three seconds, boom, gone. It's insane. It really is insane. Um, all right. Let me adjust a little bit. There we go. There's a lot. Do we see anything great? Um, not really. <laughs> you know, we're just taking a first inspection, but um, I don't see anything amazing offhand. Maybe a really tarnished Brighton bracelet right here. Oh, let's focus it. Let's zoom in. There we go. Um, maybe a very tarnished Brighton bracelet right here. I can't really tell. This is pretty, but it looks like it's broken. Um, it's interesting. Definitely have an interesting little little bag. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a couple pictures of this for my thumbnail picture, and I'll be right back. All right, hopefully I got a good thumbnail picture. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, let's see. Do you guys want me to un start unboxing um, mixed jewelry lots again? I kind of stopped buying them just because they were like okay, but they weren't like amazing, you know, um, especially for the price that you have to pay now with shipping. It's kind of insane. Um, now, I do have an exciting collab coming soon. Um, I'm going to be part of a Halloween jewelry collab with a bunch of awesome um, other thread up unboxing creators. And that will be coming soon. And we're going to be unboxing a jewelry box. I'm not sure if we've disclosed what jewelry box yet, though. But we'll be unboxing a jewelry box coming soon. Um, so keep an eye out for the Halloween jewelry collab. So this is a pretty um, blue mother of pearl shell. It has a purple um, string. It's pretty. All right. Let's... I'm just hoping we can just get a couple decent good pieces that will help obviously you know pay for the lot it is brighton i, I thought so i kind of know my brighton i've gotten a lot of it in the past so that is the brighton logo right there um and it is very tarnished now i will try to use a polishing cloth and um clean it up but i just don't know if that will clean up very good or not um, my friend Joanne over at Joanne on, um, YouTube, she has, I think at least one video, um, showing how to restore Brighton jewelry. So make sure to go and watch her video. This is Nine West NW, Nine West. This is a hematite, um, donut with, um, I believe, I'm not sure what those are. Um, it has wear on the bead, so the paint is chipping. So that is unfortunate. That is cracked. But, um, make sure to go and check out her video. This is a Kenneth Cole watch. Um, it is very dirty, but same as still, it should clean up nicely. This just came undone. I'll have to ask my watch pro, Lindsay, um, how to fix that. Because <laughs> I do not... I really don't deal with watches all that much. All right. Let me put these back here. Let's see. This is a broken necklace, but let's just see if there was a brand on it. 
nope it oh yep it, it was a premiere designs so this is a broken premiere design oh let me tilt you down there we go this is a broken premiere designs necklace i hope you guys could see the whole time um as you can tell, I'm wearing my um, my Lucky Turtle. I, this is my favorite ring I own. I absolutely love this little guy. Um, this is Premier Designs. It may just need to get reconnected, but we'll see. I'm not really looking to be fixing things up at this point. Um, I just have insane amount of... Um, listable items that um i'm sure if you saw my last video i am doing mystery boxes it is five pieces of good jewelry for 25 dollars shipped so that's five dollars a piece um and you'll get a mix of new vintage branded unbranded it just really depends on the piece but it's all going to be good stuff it's not going to be crap um so this is a gorgeous little bouquet stretch ring so it might be a piece for whatnot. Um, okay, this looks like it might be silver. Let's see. It is marked 925. We do have a knot. Um, it is a really pretty little, um, like, rhinestone. Kind of looks like Swarovski a little bit. Let's see if there's a Swarovski mark. It is a knot right here. This chain is knotted like crazy. Um, I don't see any markings. But we have a gorgeous fasted pink crystal teardrop pendant on possibly 925. Let's see. And we'll test it. Put the silver right here to the side and we'll test it at the end of the sale or at the end of the, end of the sale. The end of the video. I believe that is Dana Buckman. Right there. There's a Dana Buckman little um, vintage. It looks like Lucite maybe. So a little vintage earring. All right. Yes, um, five pieces of jewelry, $25, and it's going to be good stuff. So let me know if you're interested. If you are interested, you just have to send me an email at brightsonyourday at yahoo.com. And yeah, this is I Have Called You By Name. You are mine, Isaiah 43.1. So that's really cool pendant. Okay, we have, this is very tarnished. At least the pendant is. The chain, the bracelet itself's not, so... We have a little tree of life. But this right here is tarnished, but the rest is in great condition. Okay. Ooh, I see um I see something I like. This is silver tone. It actually looks like a maybe a handmade piece. And it is um little pieces of tiger's eye. With like little seed beads in between the um two beads and the tiger's eye. These two beads might be 925. I have had two beads that were, especially in bracelets. Let's see. They're not magnetic, so we will see. Well, that's really pretty. Little tiger's eye necklace. We'll test that. All right. We have a cuff that is gorgeous. It says, live well, love much, laugh often. Has two magnets, so I believe that is good for arthritis. And it's like a copper rose gold. Yeah, that's actually really nice. It has rhinestones throughout, so I have to make sure they are all there. And they are. So that is really pretty. So we have a rose in the middle, and then um, this gorgeous rose, like, filigree detail work around the whole band with rhinestones in the middle. That's gorgeous. I'll have to look into that. Okay, we have a another vintage Premier Designs. So this is a I always forget what this clasp is called, but it's the nice one where you have to pull out, pull out, squeeze, and then take it out. Hook clasp, hook and eye clasp, I can't remember. And they are faux glass pearls. That is a good sellable piece. All right. We have a little silver tone rhinestone earring. Let's see. We have some stretch bracelets. We have a broken rhinestone necklace, so that is craft. We have a little wire wrap earring. And we have this awesome seed bead earring with like a little fringy tassel. That's cute. Hopefully we get the match to that. And then we have something that's broken, so we'll put all the beads over there. Okay, we have a Steelers. Is that the NFL? NFL little Steelers um, earring. Okay, 
This looks like a Seasonal Whispers bracelet, so we'll see if we get more of them. Ooh, Icy Silver. Oh my gosh, I love this pendant. It's so, like, cute and dainty. So, I'm assuming this is silver. That is a Lapis Cabochon. I love the setting on this. Look at that setting. Super pretty. And, um, like, oh. So one thing about this ring that I don't like is it the little legs catch onto the ring. There we go. Um, there we go. And then let's see if this was marked anything. It is marked 925 IJC. 925 IJC. And like I said, I think someone just put that on this chain. I think this chain might be old. The pendant, I mean, I mean the pendant looks old. So that's awesome. We got some silver. Yay. Look, we got another one of these. Again, hopefully we get one that is actually marked. With Seasonal Whispers, only one bracelet will be marked out of the whole set. So if you don't get the one that's marked, you're kind of screwed. All right, let's see. We have a little dainty chain. And let's see. This is tangled up with this. Sometimes I figure um, if you just wiggle it a little bit, Oh, come on, done. Okay. There we go. Ooh, this is this necklace. Oh my gosh. Look at this awesome cuff. I don't see any maker's marks. But look how cool that is. It definitely needs to be bent back into shape. It looks like it got a little bent up. Um, but that's an awesome cuff. We have like a piece of jade maybe in the middle. Um, it kind of looks like it's not silver. It kind of looks more like a pot metal or an alpaca metal. No markings at all. That's really cool. This is a cool cuff. And I love that detail work on the side. That's cool. I like that one. But, um, yeah. So far, this we've had a couple, like, decent pieces. Nothing crazy, but a couple decent pieces. Don't forget, these boxes are, like, $63, $64 now, so gotta try and recoup at least $65 just to break even. So this um is gonna go to the craft because it has some wear. Um, I do see the match to this earring, so let's pull it out. So we have these amazing like um dream catcher style. So that is awesome. I love those. Definitely a cool one. Um these are usually like Charming Charlie. This one's not even marked. That one's not marked. This one is also not marked. So we have two unmarked silver tone chains. Those are good for my dream, um, my sun catchers though when I craft. Let's see. No maker's marks. It definitely gives me um Swarovski vibes. For sure. With those um mesh tubes with the crystals on the inside. Definitely major Swarovski vibes. For sure. That one's pretty. Um, let's see what else do we have. Everything is very tangled. Okay, we're just going to move all that to the side. If it's hard to get, we're just moving it to the side to keep going. Okay. Um, it's unmarked. And there's our little culprit for the broken beads. Okay, we have this amazing, very cool, like, artisan-made... Um, cuff. It is brass, copper, and I think that's it. Brass and copper. That is really cool. I don't see any maker's marks whatsoever. But yeah, brass and copper little cuff bracelets. I like that. Artisan made. We have a stretch, but the stretch is non-existent. That's craft. Oh, this is a really cool earring. This is a LF um lf i feel like i know that if i can figure out what lf is i'll put it on the screen um hopefully we get the match it's a really cool um earring so we have like a black acrylic bead like a loose sight some other pearl faux pearl and carnelian so we have a mix of acrylic and natural stones that one's really cool okay we have another watch this one is marked g g e g e g we have some crinkling on the leather, but nothing crazy. Um, that 
Feast, though, is absolutely... Oh, it's missing a rhinestone. I was going to say that Feast is gorgeous, but it's missing one marquee cut rhinestone. So that's craft. Another bracelet. I'm hoping, again, we get one that's actually marked. We have a little dainty bracelet. No marks. Ooh, this looks like... Oh, I have this. This is Sopata. I have this necklace already. I have this necklace. Ah! I have this. I got this in a shop goodwill lot. Um, oh, it's not actually marked Sopata. It's just marked 925. Oh, there it is. I knew it was Sopata. Um, there is the Sopata tag. If you don't know, it's like two or three arrows. Yeah, three, like three little arrow heads. Right there. And these are brass beads with abalone shell. And it has a 925 clasp and chain. I have this. So now I have two of them. So I will sell one of them. Now that I have two, I will sell one. So yay, we got Sopata. That's amazing. We love getting name brands and silver in these boxes. Okay, we have a little dingly heart. I take 99% of my earrings to um, style Encore. Okay, that is like a bone. So we'll see if Janet wants that. Okay, let's see. This looks like it could be silver. This does look like silver. So these beads... I have no idea what these are. I'm not sure if it's faceted bone, if it's some kind of gemstone. These are coral or um, spiny oyster. So we have a spiny oyster um, like beads and it goes into this pendant. So if anyone knows what material this is, I would love to know. But that's spiny oyster. That's some kind of stone because they are very cool to the touch. And the clasp is marked. 925 so we have a little tag here that says 925 and then some kind of initials and then we have a clasp that is also marked 925 so yay this box is already better than my last box love that we've got a couple pieces of silver so far all right we have a necklace or a wrap bracelet i'm not sure no maker's marks it kind of gives me stella and dot vibes but i will have to look into that Okay, we have an earring or a bracelet. A bracelet. I'll just give that to a friend who likes stars. Okay. We have a seed bead art glass. Uh, okay, it's not Mart Murano, so I'm not sure. But it is still gorgeous with these brass tone seed beads or copper. It's like a coppery brass. Then we have that gorgeous art glass. So that's pretty sellable we have the match to that earring we have the match to that earring um i believe we have the match to that earring so any matches i think we also got the match to that earring so yay all right what else do we have this is a this looks like 925 y'all um a silpata and this is old silpata look at that tag that is marked Sopata and it's spelled out. I've never come across one that's like spelled out on the tag. Or maybe I have. I can't remember. Um, with an earring. This is Sopata. So this is probably some kind of turquoise maybe? Maybe this is... I don't know. It looks like faux turquoise to me, but who knows? Sopata usually uses real stones. But yeah, so it's marked 925. It is marked 925. And then we have like these leather straps or um what are they called strings i can't y'all words are hard today <laughs> um and this is like a brass and then we have silver i'm assuming sopata piece sopata too yay i'm loving that and then watch this be sopata too let's see <gasps> y'all we got another piece of sopata look at this there's the Sopata tag. That's a little bit easier to see. We have another piece of Sopata. Let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. Okay, so this has no pendant. It is just um, four strands of leather. Four strands of leather on the Sopata little necklace. That's awesome. And y'all, I think, I think... I think I recognize this piece as Sopata too because I have it already. Oh, nope. I lied. 
this is not the piece that I have, but I do think it's Sopata though. Let's see. Yep. Sopata. Oh my gosh. This is probably going to be a keeper, guys. I'm sorry. But this one's probably a keeper. This is gorgeous. We got Tiger's Eye, either Jade or Adventurine, and Turquoise on leather, and of course, Sterling. So Sopata, 925, leather, Turquoise. That's amazing. So what's that like? Sopata piece number what? Four? One, two, three. Four. Yeah, that's four Sopata pieces so far. You know, I wonder if this is Sopata. It's not Mark Sopata, so it's probably not. Okay. Um, let's get back on track. This box is definitely a thousand times better than my last box. That is for sure. So cool. Look at this pendant. This is amazing. This looks like it could be silver, silver plated. Let's see. It's marked. It's Oneida. One, A, A1 plus. Rogers, Oneida. So it's like a handmade um, spoon or a knife ring with a little bell at the end. On, I would assume this is silver tone or stainless steel. Yeah, silver tone. That's awesome. I like that a lot, actually. I like handmade jewelry like that. I'll have to test that for silver. I don't know if Oneida made sterling. You'll have to let me know. Oh, I have had this bracelet before. It was a weird brand. I can't remember what it was, though. But it wasn't like anything with a great. Okay, let's see. We have a little bracelet that is marked Kate Spade. Kate Spade, New York. It is a little rose gold bow bangle. It is a tiny wrist size, though. So it has a magnet. And then a, cla a safety clasp. So nice little Kate Spade bracelet. Rose gold. I will take that. Okay, we have um, some really messed up hoop earrings. I don't believe any of them are silver or gold, but I'm going to take a quick look just to make sure. Probably fast forward this part. All right, I don't see any marks on these hoops, so we'll see. I'll put them to the side. Okay, this looks interesting. It's marked nine, and then it's also marked... I'm not sure what that marking is right there. Maybe you guys can see it better than I can. Um, and then size 9. So I'm assuming it's a size 9. That is definitely not a size 9. That's a size 7. Maybe it's a 6. That's what's supposed to be a 6. So let's see what it says. It says GX star 1 maybe? I don't know. I don't think it's silver. So we'll put that to the side look up okay let's get back on track oh this looks like another um kate spade it is another kate spade there's two of them yippee two kate spades this box is definitely making up for the crappy one of last week we have a little ring it's not marked it's really cool kind of looks like an old coin it's pretty okay look into that this looks like silver and i want to believe um is it chan lu that uses that kind of heart heart um chain i don't know if you can see that or not but it's like hearts it's not marked anything besides 925 but we have a little anklet that's pretty so test that all right gotta get back on track this is marked TJG. That's it. TJG. I do not know what that is. A little clip on earring with a faux pearl. Okay. All right. We have a watch band. I usually just throw these in craft. I don't really do much with watch bands. Okay. We have this also looks like sterling. This is probably keep going. This I'm keeping this one for sure. These look like garnets. And this is Mart. Silpata India. This is a Silpata 
India. I believe that's the Sao Paulo mark at least. It looks like the arrow. Let me double check. Yes. Okay. So that definitely is the Sopata arrow right there on the top. And these are garnets and I'm keeping this. I do collect garnets and rubies. So I um, love this. This one is probably my favorite second to the um, turquoise one. And that, that one was amazing. Okay. This is um, Daughter Knows No, no Distance. The love between a mother and daughter loves no distance. Oh, and it just broke. So that's craft. Okay, we have a little ring. Reminds me of my Mexico 925 ring that I have. It's not marked anything, though. I just want to wear it. Okay, we have this. Ooh, this looks like a Pandora charm. It is marked 925-A-L-E. It's not focusing. I'm putting this earring to the side. It's nothing. Um, let me let this focus. Okay, there we go. We have a little cupcake. And it is marked on the bottom. 925-A-L-E. Come on. Okay. I hope I can get that focus. There we go. It's marked 925-A-L-E. And it's a cute little, um, little cute little cupcake. So I will test that because there's so many fake, um, um, Pandoras right now. Like there's a ton of them. So that could possibly be fake, but I'm, I'm thinking it's real. This is really cool. Little seed bead. I'm not sure how the clasp works, but that's cool. I'll have to look into that. Okay, we have a little earring. This reminds me of like an Alexis Batar or something. No marks. It's nice. Definitely gives me designer vibes. Put that to the side of test. I think that might be silver. All right, so we have a y'all. Y'all. Do you guys see that? Chain is marked 925. This might be like the best piece of jewelry I've ever received ever in a jewelry box. I'm literally shaking right now. Literally shaking. If this is real, this is insane. If this is real, this is insane. Okay, um, it took me a second to get that class back on. If this is real Hermes, and that's how you pronounce it, Hermes, um, this is absolutely insane. All right, I'm going to Google lens this really quickly, and I'll be right back. Y'all, from what I can tell from Google lens and looking up Hermes jewelry, this looks authentic. This, the exact same necklace, is listed on eBay for $700. $700. Same chain, same pendant, everything. Um, I believe this is some kind of, like, horn or something. I'll have to do more research on that. I No one really said what the material was, but it, it looks like a lucite or a horn. And then it is 925 silver and on a 925 silver chain. So... This may be the best piece of jewelry I've ever received ever in a jewelry jar. We have Hermes. We have Hermes. We have Hermes. I'm literally shaking. That, that's insane, y'all. I've never in my life received a designer like that before. Like if I'm like, you know, Tiffany or, you know, J. King or whatever. But I mean, Hermes... That's crazy. All right. I don't know how we're going to top that. We have like a little evil eye faux turquoise stretch bracelet. That is actually really cute. 
We have a little natural stone. It looks like maybe jasper. Dalmatian jasper, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, Hermes. Like, I'm, I still can't get over the fact I just got Hermes. I'm literally shaking. Okay. Um, no maker's marks. Little initial something necklace. Initial C. I'll see if Christine wants it. Um, has some tarnish. That, oh my god. I'm definitely gonna be asking my, um, designer friends, um, like Lindsay and Christine, since they are, like, the designer experts, um, what they think about that. Um, if you don't follow already, Lindsay Clark, Lindsay M. Clark, um, uh, here on YouTube, or Christina over at Stina Resells. Make sure to check out their channels. They do amazing, um, designer unboxings. Um, so if you like that kind of content, they also do the occasional jewelry box. This looks like 925. These both look like 925. Let's see. They are marked 925. They're actually marked. Holy moly, guys. <laughs> These are marked James Avery. We have Avery, which is James Avery, I believe, 925 hoop earrings. And let me show you the mark. Um, it is marked Avery, A-V-E-R-Y, Avery 925, which is, I believe, James Avery. Wow. We have James Avery, Pandora, Sopata, Hermes. This is amazing. Um, we have a, we have a, like a magnetic class faux, faux turquoise bracelet. Guys, James Avery. Like, I... I, I can't get over this box. The only thing I make this box better is if we get like gold. <laughs> um, this looks like it could be something. It is marked A G nine two five. This is Mark Tiffany. This is Mark Tiffany. T and Co. AG925. AG, or no, um, T and Co. AG925. I don't see any marks on the actual, nope, it's marked on the actual post as well. I'm shaking. Hold on, please, please tell me the match is in here. If we do not get the match, this Tiffany earring, I will literally cry. <gasps> it's in here, guys. It's in here. Oh, I get it, though. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Guys. Tiffany! Guys, I this might be my best box. This might be my best box. We got Tiffany... James Avery, Pandora, Hermes, and a bunch of Sopata. So far, we still have we still have more jewelry to go through. Holy moly. Y'all, can you tell I'm excited? <laughs> can you tell I'm like flabbergasted? <sighs> okay, um This is insane. This is insane. I need to calm down. Okay. Um, we got the match to the clip-on earring. We have a tassel earring. Y'all, I, I'm literally sh shook. I, I don't know if anything can, any box will be able to top this. This is unmarked. Little initial X. Um, this, this is insane. Now I'm gonna have to go over every piece with like a microscope to make sure it's not like marked very discreetly or something. This is insane. We have another earring. All right. Um. This is insane. This looks like it could be silver, tarnished silver, maybe. Put that to the side. Right there. Um. This is this is insane. This is literally insane, y'all. Never in my life. Okay. Um. We have a charming Charlie choker that is missing rhinestones and very tarnished. I gotta be careful with all this. Who knows what we're gonna get? 
great. Okay, we have a tassel. Young Living. That is a an essential oil company. They're very expensive. My sister used to sell Deuterra. No, she used to sell. She used to do Young Living, but now she gets Deuterra, which I don't know if any of y'all know what that even is, but she's really into that kind of stuff. This is very tangled. I don't want to break anything because who knows what it is. Um just see if we can untangle anything easily. I'm probably going to fast forward this, guys, so hold on. Okay. Okay, we got this one untangled. Let's see what it is. It is marked SB SB. No markings besides SB, but it does have that same heart extender as that 925 um, necklace, so this could be 925, maybe? No markings whatsoever. SB. I don't know SB. I do not know SB at all. So we have that. Okay. We have this little bracelet that is marked 925. This is 925, and it's a little, little gold, um, rose gold vermeil. Um, star bracelets. Okay, I, I'm still like, what? <laughs> I'm still in shock. Okay. I'm gonna have to like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go crazy after this video. Okay, this is tangled. It's a, um, unbranded layer, multi-layer necklace with a, um, let me make sure there's nothing else tangled in here. No. Um, with the, um, this brass thing is um, Premier Designs. And then we have a um, we have a Young Living necklace, which I believe is this. And then we have, do we have anything else that could be good? This little 925 chain looks promising. Or at least I think it's 925. Let's see. Yes, it is 925, and it's actually marked something. Italy. Okay, so this is marked 925 Italy. This little, like, ruby red um, necklace. The rest is really... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. We have something else. Holy crap. We have 14K. We have 14K. So it's not silver. So what was marked 925 then? Okay, this something over here is marked 925 and something over here is marked 14k. Y'all. I can't. Okay, this necklace is marked 14k XL. 14k XL. Now there's a very big knot. And we have this gorgeous pendant that if this is 14K, I would assume those are diamonds. So let's see. And if that is diamonds, that could be a ruby. So I might turn off my ring light and um, use my blue light on my, um, on my, um, my loop and just see. Okay, well that warms up. Um, we have some bangle. Oh, let me double check it because Tiffany made, I have to double check everything. Tiffany made interlocking bangles. Yeah, these are not Tiffany. Okay. Okay. This is warmed up. Um, what's it? You have to set this by the temperature of your house. So I, I would think I'm right in that five, six mark. You got to put your finger on the back of the diamond tester and then you have to, I mean, they're tiny. Okay, it moved up a notch before it, um, it went up two notches, but it could be because of the temperature of my house. They went up two notches on my diamond tester, so they're either a, um, there's some kind of stone. And then let's, let's turn off my light and let's just see if the ruby glows at all. 
Let's see. I think this one has the blue light on it. Yes, it does. Mm, it's not glowing. So, ooh, where is it? There we go. It's not, oh, maybe a little bit. Can't really tell. Um, this box is crazy. Okay, let me turn the light back on. Okay, so 14K possibly, let's see. Wow, it's not magnetic. 14K, you know, what, what did I say earlier? The only thing I could make this box better was if I got gold. Got gold! Okay, then there was a silver chain in here. So what does that go to? Okay, so here's the silver tone chain. That is marked 925. I don't see a pendant for it at all. It's just, I believe, a 925 chain. So I will have to untangle that later. But there's a 925 chain in here mixed, um, tangled up bad. Okay, another watch pin. I don't know if we got the other match to it or not. Um, okay, these look promising. These look very nice. I don't see any maker's marks, but these look like they could be something. Let's see. Okay, I cannot make out what that says in that hoop. Let me see if I can get it to even focus right there where my finger is pointing. There is a marking. I cannot make out what it says. Um, let's just see if they're diamonds. I'm just curious. Well, that warms up. Let's keep going. Okay, we have a cuff bracelet. No markings. It says just run. We have another bangle bracelet that is marked Sergio Lub. Made in USA. Sergio Lub. I've never heard of that. It looks like maybe pewter. Alpaca. Not sure. Okay. We have this going. Let's like I said, like around five, six, I want to say is where the temperature in my house is. Oh, there is no diamonds. They're just peridots. Let's just see if it moves up. Okay. They're too tiny for me to really test it. Um, so I'm not sure what that says, but it's like peridots. Um, I believe, or rhinestones all the way around till about half. And then you have the inset stones on the inside of the, the hoop. And they are marked something. I just cannot make out what they say. Oh, they're magnetic. So it's probably costume. Okay. You have hoops. We're not taking any chances. We're looking these over. Good. You have another hoop. This one is marked. Nine two five LA. It's a little nine two five hoop earring. We did get the match. So nine two five hoop earrings. Yay! We will test those. Y'all, this this box was crazy. Okay, um, we have these little earrings. Make sure there's no marks. They're cute. Okay, we have one, two, three of these bracelets that are all marked. Liza, L-I-Z-A-S. We have one in rose gold, silver, and silver. I feel like I've heard of that before, but I just cannot place, place it. But they're really pretty faceted stretch bracelets. It's faceted um, glass beads, I should say. That's pretty. I'll have to look into that brand. We have a ring. And it is not marked. Again, let's try on the diamond test. I should just leave it on at this point. Okay, we have a dime. Um, we have a ring that we're gonna test. We have another fashion earring. Oh, we got the match to this. This one has a pearl. I think the other one did too. A little like almost like Dalmatian Jasper, maybe. Okay, let's see. We gotta pick this up. This video is getting long. Um, this is broken. It looks like it could have been J. Crew, maybe too. It's unfortunate. Oh, this looks like lapis. It is lapis, and it's marked A V. These are like lapis stones. These are pretty. But it's not lapis azuli because there's no gold. It's just regular lapis. Yes. 
It does have some stretch issues, but some lapis. Okay, it is warmed up, so let's go to, let's say that, and let's try this ring. Oh, it definitely goes, woo. <clears throat> it definitely went up a notch when I touched it. It definitely goes up a notch, but then it stays, oh, yeah. So it does go up a notch when I touch it with the um, diamond tester, so... I'm not sure. It doesn't go all the way up though. So maybe it's just a CZ or maybe it's a white sapphire. I don't know. I really need to get a, um, invest and get a, um, Presidium. I know I do. They're just so expensive. This is a V. So I believe that's Versona. No, that's a W. Is that Worthington? I'm not sure. It's pretty though. Okay. We have the other half to the watch band. Okay. We have this gray um like opaque green gray color my cousin will probably claim that we have half of a bangle there's the other half i think i see some pandora i think in that bag so we have broken bangle we have that earring we have this earring that let's check it it is marked 925 and there's something written on the post let's see just some initials it's not anything crazy it's a little pearl um, 925 post. Hopefully we get the match. Okay. Okay, and then we had um, this necklace that looks like a J. Crew, but let's see. Let's see. Talbots. We have a Pandora charm, maybe. Nope, not a Pandora charm. What is it? It is marked 925, and that's it. Just 925. Oh, nope, there's a mark. I can't say Cartier. Kind of looks like it says Cartier. Let's see. Caviar. C A V I E R. Caviar. It's marked caviar. There's a saw. I thought it said um, Cartier. But it looks like it says caviar. C A V I E R. 925. I do not know that brand. I don't even know if that's actually what it says. Oh, there's something written on the post as well. Let's see. The post is 14K. The post is 14K and it does say caviar. C-A-V-I-E-R. Caviar. Is, so the post is marked 14K caviar. The earrings marked caviar 925. So we have a 925 and 14K um, earring right there. So, wow. Let's put that little earring back with it. That earring back is not marked anything. So it's a little fashion. That's crazy. Okay. And then, like I said, this is a Talbot's um, gold tone with faux pearls. It's really pretty. It's definitely a valuable item. Okay. Um, earring. Oh, we have like little cherries. How cute are those? Okay, we have, oh, there's the broken, broken necklace. Okay. This is weird. This is a Juicy or a Premier? Let's see. I, I want, oh. There's a little charm. Um, I want to say this is a juicy couture piece. That looks more like the juicy crown. So I believe that's a juicy couture piece. Faux pearls, um, multi-layer chain with rhinestones. The cloth is definitely dirty though. So, ugh. Okay. Um, we have a little earring and it is marked. It's not marked. It is marked. Loft. The little loft star. It, this looks like could maybe a Pandora. It is marked S925 ALE. So we do have another Pandora charm. How adorable. With little hearts. That with the other Pandora. Okay. We have. Oh, we have an earring. That is gorgeous. Oh my lord. We have a gorgeous pair Um, I believe it's 925. Five. I don't see any markings though. Absolutely gorgeous filigree peridot earring. Love that. So we have the singles. I don't see matches. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I have something in my throat. It sounds like this looks like it could be gold actually. Let's see. Let's 
There's always these big chunky necklaces that cause issues. Actually, this one will, looks more like gold plated, um, but it is marked. Solvar. Solvar. S O L V A R. I think I've sold that before. I think I sold a pendant. Um, I want to say very similar to that on Poshmark. I think that brand's a good brand. Okay. Um, we have matching earrings. We have this acrylic. This would be actually kind of cool for Halloween. It's cool. Okay. We have bangles and none of them are marked anything. So not sure about that. Okay. We have, this is the last bit. We have a little pendant that is marked 925. Pretty. We do have the match to the peridot. I'm hoping that is silver. We have a tiny little hoop. No markings that I see. We do have the match to the 14K and 925 caviar earring. So yay. Where did I put that? Right there. Okay. Um, we have the match to the loft. Not sure where that got put. We have a little pendant that is marked 10KD. This was marked 10K. Let's test that for diamonds. Um, They're so tiny, it's going to be so hard to tell. It's so tiny, it's going to be extremely hard to tell if those are diamonds or not, but it is marked 10K right there on the back. 10k right there so yay hey okay, this looks like a pandora charm it's a little apple let's see it is marked a l e s 925 we have a little apple pandora charm okay we have a little tiny little stud which means it could be something good 585 i think that says let's look that up one more time 585 No markings on the actual earring itself. Do we have the match? We have the match of the pearl. Um, I do not see this tiny little match. Oh, we have this. That looks like juicy. Okay, let's let's test this for diamond as well. Let's go with like a five. Let's see. Okay, it's marked 585, but it's not going to diamond. Now, it's kind of cold in my house right now. It's 70, well, it's 74, but I do have two fans going, so I'm not sure if um, if I have it on the right setting. But the earring back is marked 585, so that's exciting. We have all of these little gemstones. We have a little, um, this is a Juicy Couture. That's the Juicy Couture crown right there. No match, though. I think we have the match to that. This is the broken. Okay. And then we have this bracelet. I don't see any marks on it. But this looks like something that should be marked. This looks like a real piece of turquoise. Um, so that's really pretty. Okay, so now we have to untangle. So we have some singles, unfortunately. Those are singles. Okay. A single okay um now we have to untake this monstrosity but we'll fast forward this okay this one is untangled let's keep finishing it though this one's really in there okay um 
I don't see any marks on the actual pendant itself. Um, 120, 14 karat gold filled. So I'm wondering if this is sterling and this is gold filled. We might test this little bar pendant that looks like it could be silver. Okay, this looks like a bunch of nothing, unfortunately. Okay, we do have the match to this earring. So we have the match to that one. Okay. This is an unmarked rhinestone necklace. This is an unmarked necklace. We have a fashion earring. We have a fashion necklace that says sucker on it. Soccer. We have a unbranded fashion necklace. And then we have another fashion earring. Okay. Then we have this tangle that I'm not even going to deal with. So y'all, this may be one of my best boxes like ever. Um, and let's just recap. James Avery. Let's move it to the side. We did not get we did not get the match to a couple things. These caviar earrings we got one two three pandora charms i'm keeping the cupcake i'm probably going to sell the apple and the hearts i'm not sure yet i'm definitely keeping the cupcake um three pandora charms 14 karat gold at least it says 10 karat gold nine two five possibly nine two five gold filled and nine two five not sure on that not sure on that okay where's the tiffany the tiffany and co earrings nine two five tiffany and co i still don't know that caviar it's still a new one to me um, 925, um, Solvar, 925, unmarked, but I think they could be something, 925, this really cool Oneida pendant, um, the Hermes is definitely our best piece in the box, and that's saying something since I got Tiffany and James Avery. Hermes, like I said, there's one listed on on eBay right now for $700 if you want to Google Lens that. $700 for that one so far. That's Now, of course, that was a quick Google Lens search, so who knows what else is listed. Um, this is marked 925. This, I think, may be 925 beads. I'm not sure, but it's Tiger's Eye. Oh, we did not get the match to this earring. I'll have to Google it and figure out what kind of if this is a good brand or not, though. Um, some earrings are worth listing singles. Um, 925. 925. 925. Um, and then we have Silpata 1. Silpata 2. Silpata 3. Which is my one of my favorites. Silpata 4, which is my favorite. Silpata 4. Five. So five pieces of pot, I think I said. This is also marked 925. These are lapis. Um, I'm trying to think if there was any other call-outs. These earrings might be 925. Let's see. We'll t test those. Um, was there anything else? We did not get the Seasonal Whispers one that was actually marked. So that's sad. Um... We got a lot. These are definitely the standouts, though. So, absolutely crazy unboxing. But then again, it's my channel. I'm, I'm always going to have a crazy unboxing. Either crazy good or crazy bad. Um, but this one is definitely crazy good, I would say. So, absolutely amazing. Please give us... Oh, wait a minute. Test. We didn't test anything. Um... Okay, I'm going to fast forward through all of this and then just show you what I did and didn't test. All right, guys. So I am back. So um, I have kind of have mixed, mixed reviews. So obviously I did not test the 10K pendant because I do not have any 10K gold acid on me. 
So that I could not test. However, the chain and the posts of these earrings did test for 14K. Okay. So this is 14 karat gold. And so is the post of these earrings. These earrings also did test for 925. All three of the Pandora charms tested for 925. Here's where it gets interesting. The Tiffany & Co. earrings. The backs test for silver. The tiny little bit of the ball that I could barely test tested for silver. But the ear post did not test for silver. So I'm going to retest them and just double you know, double check to make sure I just didn't mess up when I tested them. But the earring backs and the balls did, just not the post. And the posts are marked Tiffany. So we'll see. The James Avery did test. These hoops did test. These Peridot earrings did test. The little pendant did test. The inklet is silver. The um, pendant and chain did test. Here's the chain did test, but the pendant did not. So the chain is 925. The pendant is silver plated or just silver tone. This I need to retest. I think because of the rose gold overlay, the testing came back weird on that. I was correct on these earrings. The ear wire is 925. So these probably are citrine. These little pearls are also 925. The T bar, I believe, is 925. Let me double check. I was testing so much at one time, it's a little, it's a little hard. Um, yes, the the bar is 925. The chain is 14 gold, 14 karat gold filled. Um, the clasp did test for silver on this. I did not test the beads, but the clasp did. And this was really hard to test. There is a rhodium plating over the sterling. So at first it didn't test, but I was like, this, this is definitely silver. So I scratched it deeper and it did, it finally went through the coating and this is silver. So this Hermes, the chain is silver. I did not want to mess up the front of this pendant by testing it. So we're going to say this is real Hermes. So that's my box. Oh, things that did not test for silver. Um, I thought these earrings were going to be silver. They did not test. They still might be gold filled maybe. Um, this Oneida is not silver. It's just silver plated I'm assuming. The beads on this little tiger's eye is also not silver. So everything else tested. So that is amazing. Besides the Tiffany ear wires, which again, maybe there's a plane over them. And that's why it's not testing. So wow, 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 wow. We, for the most part, everything tested like I thought it would. So caviar, whatever that is, Tiffany and co three Pandora's 14 karat gold and James Avery hoops. I did not test the Sopatas just to see them on time and my acid because for the most part, Sopata Sopata. So please give this video a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, please comment what your favorite piece was. There was a lot. Um, I love the Pandoras. I love the gold. I, I love everything. I really do. So I want don't forget, we still have this that I have not tested, the 10K pendant. So thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Um, please give this video a thumbs up. Please leave a comment. And please make sure you are subscribed. A lot of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel. And come on, let's fix that. Hit that subscribe button. Um, again, I am going to be part of a collab, um, a Halloween jewelry collab coming soon. And stay tuned for more details. Bye, guys.